Welcome to a cave. This is Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. And this is an example of a limestone cave. We're in something called the Big Room. Can you see why? Caves are a unique and delicate ecosystem. There are many different kinds of caves. Some are shallow, some form under the sea, others, like Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico, have miles of underground passages filled with stalactites and stalagmites. Many animals live in or around the entrance to caves. If you're hearing, are birds that are flying in through this entrance up here. What an incredible sound. Cave swallows are birds who use the shelter of the cave to rest at night, but come out to the surface to eat during the day. Bats often live inside caves. They will sleep there during the day, but venture out at night. Here in Bracken Cave, near San Antonio, Texas, 15 million Mexican free-tailed bats emerge every night in the spring and summer to go out along the countryside to forage and feed. With such an enormous amount of bats leaving the mouth of the cave, other creatures come in to try and catch themselves some dinner. This is a rat snake on its way down to the mouth of the cave to see if it can find something to eat. All of these creatures, in one way or another, depend on the cave in order to survive. Once you get past the entrance to the cave, there is little or no light available. Carlsbad Caverns has 30 miles of underground tunnels, but few animals venture much past the entrance and the first few chambers beyond. Creatures that do live further inside caves need to be adapted to life with no light. But nature does find a way. Inside caves, there are species of fish, as well as snails, and some insects that have adapted to live underground. Many microbes deep inside the cave use chemicals in the rock rather than sunlight to form the food they need to survive. Scientists call that chemosynthesis, rather than photosynthesis, which is what green plants do. In deep caves, the temperature is about the same all year long. Carlsbad Caverns is about 56 degrees inside, no matter how hot the summer days get or how cold the winter nights are in the areas outside the cave. Will climate change affect caves? There are some ways. Though deep inside cave interiors, the temperature does not change much, creatures living near the entrance of the cave will certainly be affected by changes on the surface. Rainfall patterns, however, can affect conditions deep inside caves. If rainfall on the surface changes, the amount of water inside the cave will change along with it. Water is essential to caves. In fact, it is how caves like Carlsbad Caverns form in the first place. All these stalactites and stalagmites develop in areas where water, that often originates on the surface, drips into the caves and leaves the minerals it's carrying behind to form these amazing structures. In fact, some scientists use caves to study the history of our climate, which they can see in these stalactites and stalagmites that can often take tens of thousands of years or longer to form. If we change the amount of water in the ground around the cave, the cave environment will change as well. This affects all that lives inside. Caves, like all environments on Earth, are delicately balanced. What we humans do on the surface can even affect life deep underground. <laughs>